the DA for Texas County, uh, George Leach, and he tells me that the uh, first court appearances for these four suspects in custody will happen Wednesday morning. We also just got the affidavits in this case, all kinds of new information uh, about the suspects and their alleged actions. Of course, we now have confirmation that the custody battle in this case is linked to the murders of Veronica and Jillian. And at the heart of it is Grandma Tiffany Adams from the affidavits, which we're still going through, we've learned Tiffany Adams' preferred court-approved uh, supervisor was a named a woman named Cheryl Brune. Well, Adams said Bruni was unavailable on March 30th, so Veronica was required to find someone else. Well, Veronica contacted Jillian to do it that day. And Adams told uh, the Oklahoma State Bureau of Inve Investigations on March 29th that the kids spent the night at a friend's house. Adams was going to pick them up before the visitation. She called Veronica at 9 that morning to confirm the meeting and on the 30th, uh, but Butler told Adams something came up and she was not going to make it. Phone records confirm that call, but phone records indicate Veronica was picking up Jillian at that time. Adams picked the children up before noon from the friend's house. When OSBI interviewed Bruni, she said she was available to supervise that day, but Adams told her to take a couple of weeks off. Now, recordings were obtained where Rickman, uh, where the father, uh, Wrangler Cole Rickman, discussed death threats by Adams and Tad Cullum. And sometimes, we're reading in the affidavit, sometimes Adams even kept the kids, refused to let Rickman see them, her own son. Rickman's uh, grandma told him in mid-February that, quote, they didn't have to worry about the custody battle much longer because Adams had it under control. Now, Adams' cell phone searches include web searches for taser pain level, gunshots, prepaid cell phones, and how to get someone out of their house. Uh, we are also now learning that the Twombly's, the uh, two that are also in custody, Cole and Cora, their 16-year-old daughter uh, told investigators she overheard group conversations about Veronica not protecting kids from her brother allegedly sexually abusing them. Uh, we're still going through these uh, court affidavits. I've also read that on that morning, uh, Jillian Kelly had a firearm in her purse. And when law enforcement responded to the scene, there was no firearm in at that scene. Uh, and over the weekend, you know, News Nation on the ground obtaining exclusive video of the arrest warrants being served on these four uh, people in custody. Uh, we are now learning more about them, going through these affidavits still, and there is still much more information that, that we're gleaning. Uh, the news conference, they would not confirm, Nicole, whether the bodies found over the weekend are those of Veronica and Jillian, but it is strongly suspected that they are. Uh, we're awaiting confirmation from the medical examiner's office. And take a listen uh, we, uh, from the news conference that investigators knew early on that there was a focus. This was some kind of targeted hit. Take a listen. All right, there was a lot of questions from the public because was there any danger to the public? And I, I think from the, from the get-go, once we arrived on scene, that and and we gained a little bit of information that we, we felt this wasn't a random bill all right we uh we felt that with some of the information coming in that it was it was more targeted and we started started to look in those those areas that we were pointed to and that's the texas county sheriff uh, who i chatted with this morning he seemed truly relieved about this investigation all i mean over a hundred investigators have been working on this case nonstop for two weeks since these women went missing. We continue to go through these affidavits and we have also learned that the 16-year-old daughter of the Twombly's uh, 
they that on March 30th, the morning of this incident, uh, her parents were not home. They were returned home around noon. They had taken a pickup and they told their daughter to clean the interior when they returned. Uh, and they when they left, they told the daughter that they were going on a mission.